sex, power, and who ultimately takes the blame. When it comes to extramarital affairs, there's no doubt it takes two to tango. But in the aftermath of the sex scandal that brought down David Petraeus, the head of the CIA, many claim his mistress, Paula Broadwell, is taking the brunt of the ridicule. So, do women really pay the higher price when it comes to high-profile affairs? ABC's David Wright takes a look. The General and His Biographer, a Washington sex scandal juicy enough to bring down America's spymaster. You're watching Obvious Book fodder for I'm Saturday Susan. Night Live. Next on Book Notes, author Paula Broadwell discusses All In. Which opened this weekend with a parody of a Paula Thank Broadwell book coming. reading. Lock the door, Paula, said General Petraeus. <laughs> and with my skirt still hiked up above my waist, I wordlessly obeyed. Her David Petraeus the biography has 50 shades of gray. Pull my hair, General, I begged. Pull it hard and spank me. This week, the humor and the criticism came mainly at the woman's expense. I think it's very clear from the media treatment of the personalities involved um, that this is a form of theater and that it is a sexist form of theater um, in which whoever the woman is, she's always mocked, derided, and you know, the, that kind of mockery is not really aimed at the man. Powerful men do pay a price for their sex scandals. In Petraeus' case, it cost him his job and quite possibly a bright political future, though it's not entirely clear. Powerful men can hope for redemption. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Bill Clinton's scandal may have wrecked his presidency, but eventually he got to become the elder statesman, whereas Monica Lewinsky will always be that woman. I understand that she now has a $12 million book deal to write about that, but nonetheless, that is the brand that she now has. She's been branded. Attorney Gloria Allred specializes in helping women cash in on rich and powerful cheaters, men like Tiger Woods or Herman Cain. She insists these men can restore their good names, in part by accepting financial responsibility. The American people are extremely forgiving. As long as a high-level person steps up and takes responsibility, asks for forgiveness, Except for John Edwards. John Edwards is always the glaring exception, because that was so egregious. John Edwards not only cheated on his wife, he fathered a baby and did it at a time when his beloved wife was dying of cancer. So for him, redemption may be trickier. As a society, do we reserve a special contempt for a woman that's perceived as a homewrecker? Especially when a powerful man is involved. Of course, the very question does have some sexist language in it to suggest that a woman who is having an affair with a powerful man is a homewrecker is to lay blame 100 percent at the foot of the woman who's involved in the affair. Sarah Simons stars in a new Canadian reality show called The Mistress. Sarah Simons used to be a mistress. Which does interventions for women involved with married men. When a scandal breaks, the man always fares better. And it, it's quite, it eludes me, to be honest, because he is the one that chose to step out on his wife, betray her, break his marital vows. In this case, it's more complicated because Broadwell is married with children. Feminist Naomi Wolf, who just published a new book on women and sexuality, says she doesn't condone adultery. I don't think it's up to me to give anybody a scarlet letter. <laughs> I, but certainly if we're going to sit around shaming people for going outside their marriages, um, let it at least be a single standard, for God's sake. I would much rather we didn't shame anybody. Interestingly, Allred suggests Paula Broadwell may not have taken enough heat for this scandal, which recently expanded to include Jill Kelly and her twin sister Natalie. Uh, what was that something that Paula Broadwell was doing with Jill Kelly? Was it warranted? Was it not warranted? Did she go about it in the right way? Did she not go about it in the right way? Uh, there are just many questions. It sounds like you'd rather have the Kellys as your client than Paula Broadwell. Well, I don't have any comment about that. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, just today, one day after our interview, Allred announced that Natalie Kawam, Jill Kelly's sister, is now her newest client. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Los Angeles.